servicing an ESP unit. This is an electrostatic precipitator, more commonly referred to as an ESP. The product has a mains isolator, a system on off switch. When the system is switched on, this will glow yellow. There is also an alarm indicator. If there is a problem with the unit, the indicator will switch on and glow red. In normal operation, the system on indicator will glow yellow. The alarm light will not be lit. There is a separate electrical housing which should only be accessed by trained personnel. And to open this door, you need to use the square key provided with the unit and ensure that the safety isolator switch is off. If the switch is in the on position, the door cannot be opened. Before carrying out any service work, ensure that the unit is switched off at both the on-off switch and the rotary isolator. The door to the filter components is hinged and secured by two compression locks. To open this door and access the internal components, double check that the unit is isolated electrically and then simply unscrew the star knobs. You'll notice that the unit is hinged on one side. In the event that the unit is not isolated, there is a micro switch which will cut off the power once the door is opened. Please make sure that a period of 10 seconds is observed before touching any components to ensure any static voltage is dissipated. Inside the unit, you'll see that the air can only pass through the collector in one direction. The collector also has an airflow indicator and note that the ionizing section must be first in the air path. The tools you'll require to carry out a service are simply cleaning materials. A good quality degreaser is recommended together with cloths and good quality paper towel. This unit is in a clean state but you can see from this photograph how a unit can look. Once you've opened the door, remove the contaminated components, mesh filters and combined collector ionizer. For ease of cleaning, you can also remove the metal rail carrier for the filter components, leaving the sump free of obstruction for cleaning. You must now remove any grease from the sump. This is how the sump shown earlier looked after cleaning. Dependent on the viscosity of the collected grease, you can either drain it via the drain point or simply scoop it out and wipe it down with cloths and degreaser. Now clean all the contact points on the door and ensure they're free of contaminants. Make sure that the seals around the door are free from grease. Cleaning the components. The preferred method of service is to have a clean set of components to exchange with the contaminated ones. The dirty ones are simply bagged up and removed for off-site cleaning. You must clean down the metal filter carrier using cloths and degreaser and reinstall it. Ensure that it's fitted the correct way round. Install clean pre-filters. Secondly, install a clean combined ionizer and collector. Ensure that this is fitted the correct way round with the ionizer as the first part of the airflow. There is also a flow direction stamped onto the collector. Finally, install clean after filters. In the case of the ESP3000E and ESP4500E, where the units have more than one set of filters, ensure that you've installed sufficient pre and after filters. Check that connections between the collectors are making correctly. Finally, when closing the door, check that the insulators and charging points are going to line up.
When everything is complete, close the door and refit the star knobs to hold the door in place. Ensure that the star knobs are reasonably tight. You may need to push the door to enable the star knobs to fully tighten and make a good seal. Now that the service is complete, turn on the rotary isolator and switch on the unit. The yellow indicator lamp should light to show that the unit is running and the red fault light should not be on. You may hear some clicking or arcing as the charge builds up on the collector. If this is sporadic, then there is no problem. However, if there is a constant electrical discharge heard or the red light is lit, then there is a problem which needs to be investigated. If you're a technician, you can investigate this and follow the instructions in the manual. If you're not qualified to do this, then please switch off the unit and call a technician.